So you will take this and you ask me a question. Yes, okay. so we'll have a hundred things to talk about with Sister Lucy and uh, without much ado we'll just start on the top. What do you feel about age, elderly people? Um, for me I look at elderly people as um, a joyful uh, event for me, when I'm, especially when I go to the aged home because uh, for me I feel there's so much to learn from them and um, they have so much of wisdom sometimes to offer us and uh, uh, it's not only really that because they can offer us it's something that uh, I'm grateful to them um, because of those all the elderly people I feel the world is what it is today because of their hard work they had given us so much yes very good <laughs> very good they spend lots of love with yeah. with us, which we try to maybe convey to other people, which brings yeah. us to the next term on love. <laughs> oh, on love. Yes. Um, for me, the whole life is love. That's what I look at. Huh? And uh, there's so much of joy when there is love in this world. And um, when I look at not only to the people, the whole world, not the whole nature, the animal kingdom, everything, all that is, is what I can say is to <coughs> love and everything will be okay. Yes. That's what I feel. Yes. <laughs> Saint Augustine, well, love and you can do anything you anything, want. Yeah. That's, yeah. what I'm That's a wonderful saying. Yes. Thank you. Just the second. Yeah. Personally, when I look at children, I feel I have so much to learn from them. It's such a joy to be with them, make you feel so young. And uh, they have so much to offer you. Especially when I look at the children of my head, there are so many of them, and each of them comes with their own story and with their own gift to us. And uh, when I look at them, I feel God is still alive. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. <laughs> Which brings us to God. The next uh, one. God, yeah. Um, for me, lo I look at uh, when I say the term God. Uh, I consider it as uh, you know the in 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 India we call it Shakti or power. Mm. You know, it, here I feel the presence of God everywhere and in everything, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, some kind of uh, thing that's so alive. Mm -hmm. But you don't restrict God to a certain religion. No, I don't. Uh, uh, for me, God, I I see God in everything and everywhere. So I don't restrict myself to particular seeing Him. Um, only in uh, churches, of course. I, uh, if I go to church, uh, yes, or temple, doesn't make too much of a difference for me. The church, because uh, from childhood I'm brought up in that, so I may feel a little more comfortable. But doesn't mean and I'm uncomfortable in a temple or in a mosque. Yes. For me, it's, it's yes. Uh, okay. Very good. Okay. Yes. Women. Uh, you know, Women, you men, and gender. gender? Um, yeah. Primarily and, uh, women and, and men. Uh, for me, what I feel is, I'm so comfortable with whether I'm with women or men. The, for me, it doesn't have any this thing. Yes. But when I see the women uh, in India suffering, that makes me feel concerned, okay? And I try to do something whatever within my uh, means or within my, what you call, um, Within my power, whatever I can do, I try to do. Um, otherwise, I don't know why we make this huge difference between men and uh, women in India. Um, uh, when they count them as something that is so lower, then that gives me a lot of pain. Um, I feel God in uh, in, the, in the Almighty Wisdom has done great things, but we humans made it so much. Uh, we spoil the things in many ways. But I don't feel that type of a difference. Mm -hmm. Yes, very uh, good. Yes. Yeah. Whether man, I'm comfortable anyway. 
with the okay. body too. Yes, yes. So it's yeah. yes, it's human being. Yeah. Otherwise, it's small differences. I don't feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Education. Oh my God! Education. What I can I say? Education. I look at it education in a very different way. When I say academical education, yes, it is needed. It's very good, and you know, that's what I try to see when all the children can be educated in that sense. But more, much more than there's another way of education, and that is the you know the value-based education. What the children should learn, not only children for education. I count it throughout our life we are educating ourselves. Okay. Uh, if I say, oh, I am educated, I am this, then I think we are limiting ourselves to that type of an education. But when I look, at, I, the word education for me is timeless. It goes on till I am able to learn more and more. I think that's what is happening. Personally, I feel every day I am learning from this one or that one or from the nature or, or from an incident or anything like that. So I took it, take it education. I don't know whether what do you mean by this education, whether it is uh, limiting anything. Yes. Anything you said. Yes. And now this is money. Yes. <laughs> so money, <laughs> but uh, when I look, at money is needed because of uh, okay, but that should not be my happiness should not be based on the money. Oh, how much money I have or not there, that doesn't make a difference for a person, uh, I don't know how you how you say, but basically the happiness is inside, not on money, how much money we have or not there. Um, sometimes I feel, I have seen whenever I live with the ch uh, people in the slum, they have hardly any money but they are so happy, you know, so what I well, taste that if that is not important, yes, it's needed for um, for uh, to keep our life going. That means to keep the body and soul together. We need some money, but I feel also it's not so important as uh, it's needed. But um, attention should not be on that. Yes. That's what I think. Okay, very good. Yes. <laughs> well, oh. <Whoa. Whoa>. well. <laughs> <laughs> Again, well, yeah, if it is there also happy, if it is not there also happy. If it is there, okay, uh, thank God for it. And if it is not there also, I feel in that sense, you know, it's not, I'm not attached to any particular wealth as such. Uh, when I was growing up, might have been a little bit. I used to think, oh, why, uh, when will I have a car? You know, when I was a child and I saw the neighbors having car, and I said, oh, when will we have? So those days, but as I was growing up, everything changed in my life. Because mm -hmm. I found that was not very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I felt also like, once I remember, I said, oh, I need a car to go there. And after that, what about that car? I don't need it anymore. When I realized that, it doesn't affect me anymore, whether it is there or not there. Mm -hmm. Happy without it and with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. I don't know what what you mean by that. Why you're uh, what you that, say eh? is fine. No, no, we will, <laughs> I will not uh, add interpretations. So. Okay. Yes.